If you feel like you have to roll over the ball on your forehand and backhand to get any amount of topspin, please know that you don't want to have that feeling and I'm gonna show you what you should be trying to do. Now, I'm gonna use the Topspin Pro in this demonstration. To get your own, just use my link, it's in the description. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. When you hit a forehand with topspin or a backhand, I'll demonstrate both, the goal should be to have the feeling like your racket before during and after contact is at the same angle. What you do not want to have is a rolling over the ball feeling. And this is actually very common on one-handed backhands. Players will supinate and try to make this move going over the ball in order to be able to square up the racket and get the racket to put any amount of topspin on the ball. First off, just know that rolling over the ball is not possible because the ball is not on the strings long enough that you can have the ball touch your strings, you turn the racket, and then the ball leaves. Like if you just even think about the mechanics of that, how would you hit the ball, you smother over the ball, wouldn't that make the ball just go straight down into the ground because the ball goes where the strings point? So the idea of rolling over the ball is simply impossible. The ball is only on the strings for four milliseconds, right, four thousandths of a second. It's no, there's no chance of it happening. Here's what we want to do. If you're someone who feels like you have to roll over the ball to get topspin, then what you actually want to do is close the racket face prior to contact. Now, I know some of you just saw what I did and said, wait a minute, he just rolled over the ball and made the ball spin. I know some of you are thinking that. I'm gonna show you what I did in order to make it happen. It had nothing to do with the roll. When your strings point down prior to hitting the ball, that, that's called closing the racket face. That's what allows you to swing up for a consistent topspin. If you're the type of player who when you're hitting backhands and forehands, you feel like you have to roll in order to get topspin sometimes, it's because your racket is straight up and down in the back. If I take actually the magnet off of my strategy board, and I place it on the edge and the, and the magnet, like a coin, is balancing on the edge. This is not what you want. This is what you want. You wanna tilt the strings down so that the magnet or the coin would fall off. See, when your racket is straight up and down and you swing to the ball, the racket face is now open. And what does that mean? That means the ball is gonna go over the fence. And that's what you see with beginners. Beginners will have their racket straight up and down. They'll swing, the strings face open, the ball goes way out. So then they learn, oh, I have to turn the racket to try to square up the racket to the back of the ball. And then sometimes they time it perfectly and the ball goes in. Sometimes they do it too early, they hit the bottom of the net. Sometimes they do it too late and the ball goes out. But every once in a while they'll turn just in the nick of time and they go, why can't I do that every time? It's because you can't do it every time. It's impossible to time it perfectly every time. So what you wanna do is tilt the strings down. And then as you approach the ball, feel like your racket is a few degrees closed just prior during and after contact. So you're going low to high with your strings feeling as if they are the same angle ever so slightly close. Think like one or two or three degrees close. That's the feeling you want to have as you're hitting the tennis ball going from low to high. That gives you consistent topspin. Rolling like this will give you topspin if you're swinging up as you do it and you time it so that your strings are straight up and down when you hit the ball or even a few degrees closed. And that's why when I did this, I was able to get some spin. But if you even notice, I'm not able to spin the ball as much as if I keep the racket closed and I keep it at the same angle. You can see the rate and the RPM is much greater. This is super common on the backhand. You'll see players on the one hand of backhand, they won't turn their grip far enough over to be able to close the racket face, to be able to swing up the back of the ball and have the feeling like their racket is staying at a consistent angle through contact. So that what they end up doing is getting to the ball with the racket open and then they feel like they have to smother the ball or roll over the ball. But when you actually watch it in slow motion, you see they're not actually rolling over the ball as they're hitting. They're simply turning the racket 
trying to time it, even though it's nearly impossible to do it on a consistent basis, trying to time it to actually square up the racket against the ball. The fix for this, if you feel like you are rolling over the ball, it's because your racket face isn't closed prior to hitting. So tilt your strings down, and then that'll give you the chance to swing up and put the consistent topspin on the ball that you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your topspin, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment, playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. I want you to click the link in the description and in the first comment for a Topspin Pro. Get yourself a Topspin Pro. If you're a parent, get your children a Topspin Pro. Tilt your strings down and practice swinging low to high. And the feeling is you keep the racket angle the same just before, during, and after contact. And if you do, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.